All right, so we had the folks over at Inky, Inky, I'm not really sure, Inky or Inky, something like that, uh, send over this kind of cool product, this electric eel. Now we've done some other, almost like little handles, sort of selfie sticks that have batteries in them, which are cool. I actually really like companies that are like, let's put a battery inside something that's actually useful, something uh, not just like a battery, a battery pack, something that we can actually use. But Inky seems to have taken it one step further and made this little stand, but it has some other additional features, I think. So we're gonna take a look at what comes in the box. Take a look, of course, at their specs, because that's that's kind of important. And we're going to uh, see see how it works. All right, coming up. So here we go. Now, on their site, so this is inkey.com. I'm guessing it's in key because it's I N dash key. Um, if you go to the the main site in English, it works great. If you go to the electric eel in English, it comes up with an error. Uh, so you kind of have to do it in Chinese, but luckily a lot of the stuff is actually in English. Uh, electric eel, you can see it here with an iPhone. I don't know if it will only work with like a uh, smartphone, but I guess we'll find out when we unpack it. Uh, so 9,000 milliamp battery, so that's Awesome, that's really large. Uh, 18 watts, uh, fast charging, output and input. Um, I'm guessing it has, again, I can't really tell what that information is there, but it does say this is uh, carry-on friendly, so that should be good. Uh, provides multiple interfaces. Now, if you look down here, this is what I like. All right, look at this. They've got like a mic and their phone and a light. Uh, it looks like on the back here, on the bottom, one of the sides, it's almost like a cage where you you and I can just kind of mount extra stuff to this, which is fantastic because I, I for one love cages. Uh, and if you can put like a cage on this battery, which I'm thinking it has, so good. Plus, uh, it looks like you don't just have the ability to power one thing, but there's two USB-C ports, so you can power two things, which is fantastic. Again, 9,000 milliamp battery. Uh, yes, yeah, simultaneously power supply for multiple things. So this is even right now, it looks like they've got it charging a camera camera, uh, your road mic, et cetera, et cetera. And then it kind of gets into, uh, I think some languages. Oh no, we're so good. Uh, there you go, five volt, two amps on both of them. Uh, live self portrait as you like. So yeah, it comes with, I think it, maybe it comes with a stand. I don't know what comes in the box. We're gonna find all this out. But I love the concept, you know? There's some specs, if you guys can sort of understand it. I don't, I, I have no idea. Uh, what's, what does it say here on the box? Is there any English in here? Yes, a little, oh, it does look like it comes with a stand. That's good. So it says product name, electric eel. Yep, multifunctional shooting grip. Uh, capacity 9,000 milliamp hours, dimensions, sure. Um, and that's really all it kind of talks about. That's it. Okay, well, best way to find this out is to open the box, I guess. So here we go. But yeah, I think I think this is really cool because one of the things that, you know, it doesn't matter if you're shooting on a camera camera or a smartphone or you're shooting on like, like something like this, right? Like a GoPro or an Insta360. Um, Batteries become an issue, even especially on like things like GoPros. You know, you're getting like an hour and change really with with power. So if you can actually plug it into something like this, and now you're good for like the whole day because you literally have like eight or nine times the amount of power that comes with a GoPro battery. All right, nice box though, inky. You guys can see that there. Yep. All right. And my guess is this is all going to be. Yeah, is this any any English? Oh, there is some there. Yeah, see, installation of cell phone holder. So my thought would be that because of all the like the quarter inch stuff, uh, like the little mounting holes, you could kind of mount whatever kind of camera you want. You just may need to get some kind of adapter, right? But let's see what comes in the box. All right, so we'll start with the box. Uh, and I think that's the actual grip. So we'll come to that last. 
So we get, we get, okay, so we get, we get the little, we get the little legs, actually a decent size. I was expecting it to be smaller. Plastic, but that's okay. Now, the one thing I don't know, honestly, I don't, I have no idea how much this costs. Um, I am going to see if I can find some links to this and we'll just put them down below because I think, I think it's going to be cool. So yeah, plastic legs, but we don't want this thing to be too heavy, right? So, but nice and wide, like they're not small. I've seen some, I'll give you a, for instance, this is one that I have here. Um, and you know, it's, you can see how much smaller it is, right? That's, that's way smaller. So that, I like having the larger legs because for one, it just gives you more stability, right? So I like that. This, what is this? Is this the, oh yeah. So you get an inky, this is like your a phone mount. So it can go in, in, a, in a cold shoe if you want or into a tripod. Uh, is it, okay, so it is, does this spin? Nope. Does this, how does this extend? So it does turn, okay, I'm with you. Doesn't go that way. How does this go bigger? There's a little, aha. So there's a little tiny, you guys may be able to see it there. There's a little tiny button right there. So you can get it closed. Once it's closed, it's locked. So you gotta push that to lift that up. And then you can... All right, I'm with you. So that's nice and it rotates, which I, I like. So you can kind of get in whatever you want. And I'm guessing this, yeah, so this also, there's a little little thing right here so that you can kind of put it on whatever angle you want it as well. So you just get it where you want it. It's got, it feels like it's got little notch points, so once you get it locked in there, it's not gonna just kind of slowly slide. All right, that's a win as well. Okay, that's, that's, that's it for that. That's it for this. That's all going over there. And this is the electric eel. Here it is. I still think 9,000. Milliamp hours, that's that's excellent. It's definitely got some weight to it, for sure. Got some weight to it. it comes with some cables, cool. What does it come for cables? So it comes with three cables, all USB-C, USB to lightning, to micro, and to USB-C. So depending on what you're connecting it to. So it could be a smart, well, basically any kind of smartphone. They give you the cables for it, so I love that. And this must be it. Yeah, that's got that's got some it's got a little bit of weight to it for sure. Oh, that's so good. So this must be this must be your input. So this is where you're gonna charge. So it's input output. So it inputs at 30 watts, outputs at 18 watts. So 18 watts there. But there's all the cage stuff, right? There's also two five volt two amp outputs, which is great. Uh, and see, you even got, you got a little tripod hole there. You got two up the top. You got a cold shoe. But even there, you got it, you got them with a little screw in notch, right? So this, this of course, my guess would be, this is, this is coming in the bottom. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now you gotta, now you gotta stand. Oh, that's hefty. I like, I like that. That looks, come on now. That looks, that's awesome. Uh, I'm guessing that's your power button right there. There's a little button there with some LED lights because that's kind of the only buttons that I see. Now, what would have been nice because you get this, right? You get this and this is gonna go into the cold shoe. So this is going up here for your, for your smartphone. So this is just sliding it up there. So your, smart, your smartphone ready now, right? Ah, oh, see, I see that because let's say you're vlogging because that's that's gonna be straight. So like, well, no, I need I need angle. So you angle it up a little bit, and now you're, yeah, yeah. Now you're rocking and rolling because you got that there. So you get you get your smartphone. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take it out of the case because I I just don't know. Okay, so you got your smartphone, and you're you're pushing this, making it making it larger. Okay, that's going in there. You're clamp clamping that down. Nice and snug, yes, right, okay. Oh yes, oh yes, that's that's a bit of all right, for sure. Yeah, and then, depending on your phone that you have, right, so this one here, this one here goes USB-C, so I take my USB-C to USB-C, and I'm guessing I could could I go from, 
Oh, I didn't realize that. There's there's ones on the on this side and ones on this side. They're on both sides. Well, all right. So I'm like I'm probably gonna listen to back. I'm coming in there, and this one's coming up here. All right, cool. And then you get little little blue indicators, right? There it is. And this gave me a little little charge. Now, if it was a high speed charge, I'm guessing if you really wanted to, you could come all the way down here and plug it in because that's going to be a 30. So that'll charge it way faster. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. And, and again, I think that the best part of this, not that the best part isn't the fact that it's, it's a battery charger because that's, that's awesome by itself, um, is the cage section being able to just mount all kinds of stuff to this. And I do think if you had a small camera, not anything like large, but a small camera that you could put into the shoe that gave it a quarter inch, you could actually put like a fairly large camera on this if you wanted. And you could still, even with this one here, you could charge your, like your bigger camera or something like that, depending on what you wanted. Oh yeah, no, I think that's very cool. Uh, I just realized it has to have a little bit of weight to it, you know, a little bit of weight, but that's okay, right? We're, we're rocking about 75% right now. Yeah, I think that's a win. That's a win. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find uh, some actual links for you guys because, come on now, that's, that's pretty sweet, right? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I like that a lot. Everything's everything's actually fairly well built. Now, again, I don't know the actual price. I will try to find that out and put links down below. Um, but definitely a cool option for for those of us that are shooting with possibly like GoPros, because you can easily get an adapter that will mount on the top of here for your GoPro. That's that's super simple. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using this for sure. All right, my friends, I will find some links, put them down below for you guys, and uh, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and oh, hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Don't forget to hit the bell. And we will see you fine folks next video. Later, my friends. Mm -hmm. I like, I like that.